Can a single vitamin D pill slow down aging? This Harvard-backed study just dropped some heat, and it's not clickbait, it's science. Inside your cells are telomeres. Think of them like the plastic tips on shoelaces that protect your DNA. Every time your cells divide, the telomeres get shorter. When they get too short, cells stop working, and that's when aging kicks in. That's right, you get older with shorter telomeres, with a capital T that rhymes with P, or E, or D for vitamin D. Sorry, mom loved the music man. But he could work for exercise, because this seems to slow down telomere shortening as I covered in a previous video. And according to this study, taking 2,000 international units of vitamin D3 daily caused less loss of that critical telomere length in just four years. And that's the equivalent of buying your cells three more years of life. Most people get their vitamin D from sunlight, but around 42% of the adults in the U.S. and nearly 1 billion people worldwide are vitamin D deficient. In the U.S., it's recommended that adults get 600 international units of vitamin D per day, which increases to 800 international units for the those over 70. But this study had the participants taking 2,000 international units per day. Is that too much? No, but there appears to be a Goldilocks effect with vitamin D. A large study in the UK found that very high levels of vitamin D in the blood were associated with shorter telomeres. So, want to age better? Spending some time in the sun most days of the week and eating these foods may not give you enough telomere preserving vitamin D. So you may need to supplement, but just know that vitamin D is not a magic anti-aging pill. Although higher amounts may be tolerated by some people, People, until we learn more, taking 2,000 or less international units of vitamin D per day may be enough to keep your telomeres longer, longer, with a capital L that stands for like. And subscribe for more fitness-based facts based on real science. And as always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.